Okay, so I'm going to run Cinebench at my new uh, speed here. My Sandy Bridge i7, I'm at 5. I got to overclock to 5 gigahertz. So here it is. There we are. I'm at 1.5 volts. Um, my temp so far, the highest temp, is about 172. So it's pretty high, it's getting up there, but not too bad. So there's my score, which this is really weird. Um, it's at 9.09. .09. I have it, I think it's on my video. When I was running at 4.8, I hit a 9. Point, I think it was 2.5 or 2.8. So. I don't know. I don't know enough to know why, but that just seems really odd to me. I'm running I'm running higher, but I'm getting a lower score, so I don't know. But anyway, there it is, Cinebench at five gigahertz on the Sandy Bridge I seven. So I'm gonna run Coresmark at five gigahertz, um, see if it I don't even know if it'll be stable enough to run it. You know, Cinebench was fine, but usually Coresmark hits it a little bit harder, and I don't know. Let's see what happens. Coresmark here at 5 gigahertz. Let's go. It's not even picking it up. It's showing the, um, the speed it normally runs at, which is at 1.6. I don't know why it's doing that. It's been doing that the last few times I've been running it, but. Even if you look at it, I don't even know why I've got the temp temperatures up and CPU ID up because it's showing just the. Uh, Cores Mark doesn't pick up the clock speed, the core speed correctly. Anyway, my uh, temps on. I'm at 165. So it's actually not as bad as I thought I would be. So actually, temps really didn't go that high. Um, let's see where it puts me. I forget what position I was in at 4.8 gigahertz. Um, so now it's put me at 22. Number 22. At 44.49. So there it is, Coors Mark, um, 1.5 volts, 5 gigahertz, my temps went up to 165, there it is.